Hi everyone, uh, I hope you're well. I wanted to take some time to show you a little bit how the files work uh, when you upload them to your program. I've had some questions, so I thought I would make a little video. So first you go and um, you open the software, design software, and then you go to start a new project and upload your files. Now, when you receive the files, they're going to be in the zip folder. So I know some people have said the zip folder doesn't work in the design software, and that's true. So here I'm going to show you a little bit how you go to your desktop and you basically have to take your files out of the zip folder and create a, a spot where you would have them. And then that's how you can upload the files. Here on the video, it doesn't show when I go to my desktop where I saved all my files, but it shows how you can upload the files once they're out of the zip folder. So you can upload the files, all of them at once or one at a time. Here I got two. Um, and once you're ready, you take it and you bring it to your um, project. So once it gets into the project, you'll see how the black frame around the pieces or the frame is black so you just make sure that the sizes are correct because sometimes um, the design software will resize the pieces so that's not good so here you can see it's the right size so you can delete that frame or just hide it and then you see um, that there's something underneath the frame but uh, until you remove the frame um, you won't see the lines or the pieces underneath. So the frame may be at the top of all the files you have there on the right side, or it might be at the bottom. Just find it and basically hide it, and then you'll see the pieces underneath. There you will see, sometimes they come out all black, sometimes they don't. Um, it's a mystery, but you can find them and make sure that the big pieces are set to cut, which everything is set to basic cut once you upload the files. Even though they were prepared with the right line, somehow the design software changes everything to cut. So here you'll see how you have to basically, there's two things. You'll have to change the lines, your score lines. You basically select all of the lines and you change those to score. Um, you can select them one at a time here. I'm trying to select them, um, with the shift and control so that I can do a bunch at a time. Once you have them all, just set them to score and then you'll see they revert back to the dotted line. They were like that originally, but somehow uploading them to the software changed that. So once you do that, you can now do all your numbers. Again, you can select all the numbers individually or sometimes they're group. You can select a group. Make sure that there's nothing else in the group, but set that to pen so that it can draw basically your lines. Um, so now that you have your pieces set to score for the lines and cut for the pieces and your numbers in draw, you can basically select all of it and attach it together so that once you're ready to make, it'll know where everything goes. Now you go to make and you see how you have your three settings. And from there, um, you go to your program.